Hello and welcome to Lifestyle by Lulu. I'm Louise O'Reilly. On Lifestyle by Lulu, we will bring you interviews, demonstrations and top tips from some of Ireland's leading bloggers, fashion and hairstylists, makeup and beauty junkies. Plus, all is happening in the world of fashion and lifestyle. Coming up on the show, we have a wedding specialist from the Hotel Kilmore for all you brides and grooms who are ready to walk down the aisle. So check this out. Creations catches your attention. Pop down to her, she'd be delighted to talk to you. And as I say, she's open seven days a week because she works from home, so it's easy to meet her. And just enjoy it, yeah. I love it. I just think the colour, the cotton colour, or the moulding of the hat. Lighter dress. It's all about satins, beautiful satin. Wonderful, wonderful, flowing, classical, very traditional, plain but beautiful, simple is the word, I shouldn't have used the word plain. Crossover, deep front, and himself there, Don. Himself coming to you in McGee again is the suit of choice. It's gorgeous, 100% wool. You can hire them as well. Wow. And again, that wonderful shade of blue. Isn't it beautiful? And the embellishment all over the little crop jacket. This is rather beautiful. If you were going up, you know, the sister, the cousin, you want to look fantastic, it's very special. Or the mother, you know, you wear what you like and whatever you feel like wearing. been the way over the years that they've been in the fashion business has been personal attention. The beautiful crop jacket, look at that. Again, the wonderful colour. Come on, they're, they're amazing. They really are. I, I, honestly, as I say, we're out on the road since just after Christmas doing wedding prayers and I haven't seen anything like between the bride and wear, the mother of the bride, guest of the wedding that I've seen here today. They're beautiful. Give them a round of applause. Well, I'm here with Peter Scannon, owner of Elegant Gems. So, Peter, thank you very much for speaking to us on Lifestyle by Lulu. Uh, Peter, tell us a little bit about your uh, bespoke uh, designs that you create with Elegant Gems. Well, first of all, Louise, thanks very much for doing this with me. Uh, very good of you. What we've launched here uh, with Elegant Gems is a design your own ring service that the customer can actually take part in themselves online by going to www.elegantgemsjewelers.ie now fr from that from that from that point you will go to our ring collections and fr from there you can go to wedding and engagement i'm doing it on the screen here now uh, so it's all go, here online on your website all here online on your website you can change change style get pricing the whole the whole lot is finished on the website now you cannot buy as of yet online but I don't think considering what we're dealing with here diamonds 14 karat gold 18 karat gold platinum that anyone is too willing to to, to part with the money just yet so so contact me uh, either online Facebook or call into our shop Scanlon's jewelers on 100 Main Street Cavan and I'll go through 
the whole elegant gem system for you. Fantastic. So in the meantime, any of the, uh, any guys out there who are planning on proposing or any girls who have just recently been proposed to can be looking up your website and, and planning because it is a, a process that it's something you're going to have on your finger for a long, long time to come. So you really want, and it's an, a, a huge investment, so you want to really make the right choices and you can help them do that. You'll hold their hand the whole way through it. I'll hold their hand. I'll, I'll hold their hand the whole way through it. Uh, the one thing I would say is promise rings have become a, a big deal now so instead of actually investing in the in the ring itself uh, giving a, a sterling silver or nine carat gold promise ring and letting the lady design the ring herself so I'm encouraging images be sent to me on my Facebook page Elegant Gems email me or like I said already call into the shop Scanlon Stewlers and uh, speak to me and from that point on within three to four weeks we'd have the ring uh, designed uh, manufactured and ready ready for action that's fantastic well Peter thank you very much for speaking to us on Lifestyle by Lulu and if anybody wants to get in touch with Peter you can check out his website Elegant Gems or you can pop along and meet him in Scanlon Jewelers on Main Street Cavan Town well, this is one for the men out there who are ready to walk down the aisle. David Malloy, thank you very much for joining thank us you. on Lifestyle by Lulu. David, uh, you're based in Cavan Town, DT1 yep. Menswear. Yep. Tell us about the grooms that are coming to you who are they're looking for something a little different. Yeah, a lot of grooms are looking for something a wee bit different now, whether it be tweed, whether it be charcoal grey, whether it be blue. There's a lot of blue around. Guys are starting to move away from blue, going into navy, into charcoals, into silvers. But again, they want something a wee bit different, maybe something a little bit with a tweed running through it, some with a bit of a check. The groom wants to stand out a lot, so he wants maybe something a wee bit different than the rest of the guys. So maybe he might buy maybe a blue check suit. The lads would rent out a navy suit, plain navy suit for the rest of the lads and tie them in some way, shape or form to the colours of the bride or whatever, something like that. Right. I've seen a lot of uh, grooms recently do a lot of mix match and match as well. So different waistcoats, yeah. different jacket, yeah. different trousers. Either, they're either going with maybe a two-piece grey suit with a blue waistcoat or a two-piece grey suit with a blue waistcoat. You know, make mix and match the whole thing around, makes it look a wee bit different, and they're different. And of course, you probably still cater for the traditional uh, grooms who still want to wear the, I suppose, the tops and the tails and yeah, that type of thing. There's still a lot of guys out there who still wants to go back to the tr traditional look, which is the longer prince head jackets, the tails, a different coloured waistcoat, a scrunchie, something like that. But it is a dying thing because most guys want a nice fitted looking suit, they want to look sharp, they want to match the bride, and they also want to match the old colours of the whole wedding party. Brilliant. So you're available in Cavan Town and if anybody wants to come in you will help um, style them? Yeah, no problem. Normally what we say, once the bride has her colour picked, the bridesmaid's colour is picked and the bouquet or something else like that picked, once we have a colour to go with, come down with us and we'll sit down and have a chat with you, throw a few bits on the grooms, get photographs and then we can sit down and see where we're going from there. That's great, David. Thank, right. you Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Good to see you. Thank you. Tell us a little bit, Rachel, what is kind of in fashion? What is the trend with brides at the moment? There's quite a trend towards the natural look for brides, whereas a few years ago I found that brides were still asking for kind of, you know, more flamboyant, bright kind of lipstick and stuff, whereas now the trend today is very much natural. Like today, um, I've had a lot of requests for extremely natural, emphasizing the eyes, maybe, you know, just a pale color on the lips, but yeah, it's overall, it's a very natural look. And it's so important that the makeup lasts all day long, in particular for photographs you're know, under the lights and um, what, what do you do you start very early in the morning so what's your tricks to kind of make that makeup stay in place all day well I guess it's using using the right products and a lot of it is like what I do is I layer a lot of products but very finely and it's about layering the, them in the correct kind of way as well obviously the use of primers but as well I think it's a little bit of skill in being able to adapt to the different type of skin tones that you're it's not like a one fits all thing and that's probably why professionals are called in on the day because it, it's down to the individual skin tone and that and it's being able to recognize the differences on the spot right so it's very important for a bride to have a trial uh, before the wedding day just to see what you really want yeah we'd always recommend a trial I would never do a wedding without doing a trial because you know on the morning as well different like you don't want any art like not arguments um, differences on the morning so the bride might think that she wants a really dramatic look but your idea of a dramatic look and her idea could be two different things so you want to have all of that sorted so that there's no no discussions on the morning you know exactly what you're doing 
Yes, well, I'm here with Sarah from SD Creation. Sarah, thank you for speaking to us Hi, on yeah, Lifestyle you, Belulu. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about what you offer the bride to be. Yeah, um, I actually make bespoke headpieces for the bride. I also customize shoes, um, jewelry, like bouquets. We do the sweetie cart and the signs as well. Um, so pretty much everything to match in with the whole dress. You know, obviously tie it all in together. Um, I won an award there actually uh, last year. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, that was with the Getting Married in Northern Ireland bridal magazine, and I came first in the Reader Awards, so it was really, it was really wow. nice to, yeah. Okay, so girls, you need to yeah. get onto this lady. <laughs> so I'm just having some of your little pieces. Yes. Here. Lots of bling, lots of yes. sparkle. Yes. What every bride wants. Definitely. And, yeah. As you said you will match it in with their yes, dress. Yes, with their dress. If there's any detail, like tie it and all in, sort of thing, and matching it all together. Um, so I like to try and do something a wee bit different. You know, something that you're not really going to be able to buy in the shops, and like I want to make sure everybody's happy and that they're wearing something that they're comfortable with. Which is great. Yeah. So a lot of brides are kind of moving away from the veil yes. and going more with the headpiece. Yes. So it's kind of a, one of the main the kind Big of focuses. Time. Definitely. I find people are wanting to do like a statement headpiece and leaving it at that. So it is, yeah. So uh, again, then the hair is very yes. natural, very soft, yes. compliment the look. Yes, definitely. Yeah. No, is, I love it. Yeah. Which is great. I'm delighted to be joined by Majella Connolly, professional makeup artist. Majella, thank you for speaking to us. Majella, tell us uh, a little bit about the trends that you see in Foley for 2016 for bridal makeup. Yeah, well, brides are much more on the key now about makeup than what they would have been. It always was a natural look. Give me something really neutral. That is nearly out the window now. Certainly, brides want to look natural and they want to look like themselves. Obviously, in 20 years' time, they're going to be flicking through their photo album and they want to look back, oh, yeah, that was me, that's what I look like. However, they're not as scared as the walls of, of um, wearing a strong lip colour, for example, a more defined eye, a little more definition with eyeliner, and that is definitely more on trend coming into 16 and definitely in 2017. When we've got more metallics and more colours, we're looking at a little bit of rose gold on the eye, oh, which lovely. is fabulous. Yeah. Um, and also, lip colour is very important to remember that you're going to be holding some flowers. Your bridesmaids' colours all need to kind of blend in together. So, if you have a beautiful bouquet of pink roses here well a pink lip just sets that off fabulously which is great and not to forget of course the bridesmaids mm -hmm. um, have to compliment the bride as Very well much, so yes. do you find a lot of brides want to be a little bit different from the bridesmaids they or do, do they do, yeah. Um, they will allow that. Um, a lot of brides now are letting their bridesmaids have their personality and their makeup. Again, you could have one sister who is um, very timid and doesn't like a huge amount, and you have another friend or another cousin or something who wants the full drama look. So we can bring it up or bring it down, just suit using same colours, same tones, and bring it to suit um, the makeup. But as you say, we'll be a little bit different from the bride. The bride likes to stand out kind of on her own. So we would um, bring something different into um, the bridesmaid's makeup. Um, maybe a little bit more pop of colour, maybe a little bit more drama across. Well, it's very important that the mother of the bride and the mother of the groom look extra special on their big day. So I'm joined by Karina from Gas Boutique in Armagh and in Uri City, and she's going to tell us all about uh, the service that you offer. Karina, thank you for speaking to us on Lifestyle by Lulu. So tell us a little bit about what you're offering here today. Well, we do mother, the bride and groom in both our stores, Armagh and Uri. We do different styles in both stores to keep a good variety overall, because obviously we do lots of brands and they have lots of different styles. Styles, so we try to pick a lot of the styles, you know, so we're a lot of variety. We do headpieces, shoes, bag, jewellery, we tend just alterations in store just to dress the mother of the bride so she leaves the store totally dressed and happy with her outfit and happy to go on for the day. Fantastic, so you, it's a one-stop shop so really you can go get everything you need in there. Um, over the years we've seen um, a, a quite a transformation from mothers of the bride with a lot of younger mo mother mums and they all want to kind of look their best and try something that's more comfortable for them yeah. and more fitting with their style. Yeah, definitely. Now the mother of the bride has changed a lot, it's getting younger and younger all the time. The fabrics are changing. Yeah, there's even some dresses that I would wear, you know, now without the jacket. They're really, really beautiful. Um, we have lots of different brands, lots of different styles. Um, a lot of um, a lot of mother of the bride makes now are, are they're tending to go that wee bit more different and they're getting a wee bit more edgier and they're going for the fuller skirts and stuff so it's um it's all lovely yeah so that's it from Lifestyle by Lulu. Remember, you can follow me on Lifestyle by Lulu on my Facebook page. You can Snapchat me on Lulu Lifestyle. You can follow me on Instagram, Lifestyle by Lulu, or you can get me on my Twitter page at Cavan TV Sport. I really hope you've enjoyed and thanks for watching.